Hey guys, I guess maybe you're wondering what the heck we're doing with this big roll of bubble foil. We have had an issue last year, and it was our first winter in the house, with the floors being cold. And part of that is because the two rooms that we want to concentrate on are not built over a foundation. They were add-ons after the fact. I honestly think they took the existing deck and closed it all. It is insulated with R13 underneath the floorboards but it's opened up underneath where there's no foundation, it's open. So we wanted to give it an extra layer of insulation in the hopes that it helps uh, curb the cold floors. And I did, some in, I, I did some research on this bubble foil wrap and I want to thank our friends from over at insulationstop.com for helping us out with this product and some of the tips on how to insulate. But um, it was really watching Boss of the Swamp do his cabins that really sold me on the fact that I wanted to go ahead with this because if I listened to all the engineers and all the experts in the field they said ah oh, this stuff isn't worth it it's not worth it well boss of the swamp he showed me real world application of this where it did do the job it did help him out now I'm gonna do mine a little bit different than he did his at least initially uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and put some furring strips down on the joist and then go ahead and put this over the furring strips so there's gonna be a small air gap between the existing insulation that's in between the joists and this radiant bubble foil. So I'm going to go ahead and do that here with my with my boy Ethan and I'm going to show you how it works along the way and then we're going to go back and we're going to talk to you about whether or not we see a real difference. We're hoping that it works out and we're going to go ahead and install this at the cabin as well because as many of you know and some of you even mentioned when I put the fiberglass insulation up underneath the cab cabin I didn't put any critter screen and of course mice want to get in there and make their homes and they do their business in there they tear everything up in a nest and it gets wet and it starts to fall down I have experienced that at the cabin so I'm gonna go ahead and take that stuff out and put this stuff in what I might do after the fact if this doesn't have all the effects that I want if it doesn't give me all the energy impact that I want the energy savings that I want I might go ahead and skirt the cabin and also skirt the rooms underneath around the lattice so we can encapsulate and enclose that space a little bit better. So we're going to give this a shot first. We're going to see how it does and we'll show you how it goes. I'll show you some of the installation along the way and um, I hope you enjoy it and get something out of this video. Come on along. All right, so this is what we're looking at up underneath the room. This is Ethan's, well, we call it his office since where he has all of his guitar stuff in his desk. And you can see there's the foundation. The deck is beyond. Those cinder blocks there, and of course this is the room, and you see we got the insulation in the critter screen. So I guess the idea is here is we're going to put some furring strips up along the joists, and then we're going to go ahead and just staple this bubble wrap insulation to that. We also have a roll of this Reflectix tape. It's the aluminum tape that's made for this purpose, and there should only be one seam because this is only about 7 feet across and I have 48 inch material. So we're going to just overlap it a little bit in the middle and we'll go ahead and we'll run a strip down the middle of this Reflectix tape. And possibly along the outside as well, we'll see how this all goes together. Alright, so we're underneath here. We got the first course down. Went down really easily, which I'm excited about. It's real easy to work with, guys. Uh, if the performance is what we're hoping, then uh, this is a grand slam. But that remains to be seen. One of the issues that we have here is that the critter wire that they put down the mesh, actually, it's not flat. So we have quite a bit of differential that we have to work with here. Not necessarily a horrible thing, because this material allows you to have flexibility. It's real forgiving, which is nice. Uh, one of the things that we noticed underneath here you see there's actually gaps in the insulation in some places. I don't know why they did that or if I, I, I don't know how that ended up happening, but clearly not a pro job. And obviously one of the reasons why we're experiencing colder temperatures in these rooms. Uh, so hopefully this Reflectix over this bubble wrap is going to really help that problem quite a bit. So we're going to go ahead and uh, you see that we have a vent for the furnace. This is the heat and the air conditioning. Um, that we're going to have to cut around. Again, real forgiving. I was able to do that with the 4x4 post here with just a pair of regular scissors. So, easy peasy. Now, we're going to keep working. Right, boy? Yeah. <laughs> 
even for two knuckleheads like us, this went up pretty easily, wouldn't you say? Yeah, for I sure. mean, you barely lost your temper under here today. I barely lost my temper. Uh, I always get yelled at, like, my temper. Like, I lose my temper when because I'm doing this he stuff. he does. Not always. Yes, you do. Well, my patience runs thin. Anyway, guys, I think it looks pretty good. You see, there's the seam tape there, the foil tape that we put up. That was, uh, it, it all went up relatively easy. Ethan said, uh, what did you say? What did I say? You said, well, most of the things that go wrong, didn't Oh, yeah, they, because he always complains that nothing goes his way. <laughs> and nothing, like, really went wrong today, so... <laughs> I no, kept telling I, him. I consider that a win. I keep telling him, I'm not out of the woods yet, buddy. We're not out yet. But yeah. all in all, I think it went pretty well. You can see that the contour here, like I showed you with the uh, with the wire mesh under there, it kind of flows down into the foundation. So this this stuff was real forgiving. And again, we want to wait and see how the performance is. But if need be, we're going to go ahead and we're going to encapsulate all this lattice and we're going to put, we're going to put it all the way around if need be if this doesn't do the trick i got the feeling that well at least i'm hopeful that this is going to do the trick because again there was a couple of spaces in between the joists that just didn't have insulation on there i didn't notice that before but i did notice the cold didn't you too boy yeah well, of course i did boy <laughs> Um, anyway, we still have one more room to do on the other side of the house. It's the harder one to get to because we got to crawl through, oh, I don't know, 40 feet of crawl space underneath oh, the deck disgusting. to get to it. <laughs> it's disgusting. I had to go under there once because I dropped something and it's 10 times worse than under here. It's way darker. It's way damper. It's way like there's not as much room. There's always like stuff like poles and stuff. Like you can't get by really. It's extremely hard. It's it, going to be fun. Yeah, no. Nah, yeah. Not looking forward to it. Well, we'll get to that soon. We, will, yeah. we won't do that right away. But um, we'll show that to you in, in a following clip. So we'll, we'll call this done for now. We'll see how it does and we will report back to you. And what we noticed, the temperatures are dropping. It was 75 yesterday, and it was like that for a few days. It was actually warm yesterday. Yeah. Uh, but the mercury dropped overnight, and it's chilly out now. It's definitely fall. We're heading into winter. We're going to see how this does, so we'll let you know. You know, I thought I'd do a clip of the inside of my shop here. You can see that that bubble foil insulation, the previous owner installed that in the inside of the shop, which I'm glad they did, but it doesn't really do much for any type of insulation or insulative, I don't even know if that's a word, it doesn't really do much to help insulate this space. I'm sure it has some impact, but it's not a great impact. And the reason being is because there's no air gap. This is directly on the opposite side of the metal that's on the opposite side sheathing the, the, uh, the structure, the building. And what they probably should have done was put it on this side of the two buys. That way there would have been an air gap in there. And that's what really helps make the difference. The good news is if you check out insulationstop.com, they actually have uh, instructions and pictures and uh, different ways that you can install this type of material depending on your particular application. So, um, and it, it even gives different R values on there for the different types of or the different ways to install it so check that out again so it has been uh, roughly i guess a little two weeks maybe a little over two weeks since we put in the bubble foil from insulationstop.com and i have no scientific evidence to back this up i just have kind of a, a real life experience now i went through and i asked everyone in the house how they felt it was this year temperature wise as opposed to last year and we had some cold weather. I mean, we got down into the 20s at night. And again, no scientific information to back this up, but we all feel like it's been warmer. The floor feels warmer. By the way, I think I said in a prior clip that we had R13 in the floor joist, and it's actually R19. And so the bubble foil we put over that, like I showed you. And the idea is that um, you lose the most amount of your heat through the roof. Everyone seems to know that, right? It makes sense. Heat rises. Well, I think what most people don't realize, or at least I didn't realize until I looked into this, is we lose the second amount, the second most amount of um, thermal heat through the floor, not through the walls. So it's through the floor. So with this bubble foil uh, radiant barrier underneath the floor, it's pushing some of the heat back up through the floor joist and back into the floor. And it's not allowing it to escape from the floor, at least not as much as as it was and that's our general 
a consensus here around the house is we all feel like, yeah, it's been warmer. Now, with that said, and in all fairness, we did do some other things throughout the uh, off season, throughout the summer, to better insulate some of the gaps that we had around the windows, around the doors. So by and large, the floor feels warmer. So I gotta say, you know, that was a success. I can't wait to try this out on the camp. That's gonna be a real test because we don't have the same amount of insulation underneath the floor there. We only have R13 and I'm gonna pull that down and uh, I might tuck some new stuff up in, especially where the, mount, the, the mice got to it. So stay tuned to a future video there. I gotta say thanks again to insulationstop.com. You guys were great um, and the product was great. Easy to work with, like I said, and I think it did have a real impact. So thanks for watching. Y'all have a great day. Mm -hmm.